Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. In anticipation of my triangular box series, I am um, giving you some instructions on how to create a triangle template. Now in the last video, I made a triangle template using a compass. Today's video is for those of you do, that do not have a compass and have no intention of getting a compass. We're going to do this origami style and fold an equilateral triangle. So the first thing you need to do is decide what dimensions you want your triangle to be. And for the purpose of these videos, I'm going to be using a tri a, an equilateral triangle that has a four inch side. So each of the sides are going to be four inches long. One of the things about the word equilateral is that it means all uh, sides are equal. So equal sides. Oh, there's a four on there, so we'll use that. Okay, so you're going to trim your paper down to the dimension of square that is the same size as the dimensions of the triangle. So four inches on each side. You need a four inch square in order to create a four inch equilateral triangle. And now all we're going to do is do the folds so that you know where to cut to create your triangle. So first things first, we'll use the bright side. You're going to go take one edge and bring it up to the opposite edge and crease. Like that. And open it up. You're going to turn it 90 degrees and fold one edge up to the opposite edge and crease. So that when you open it up, you've got a plus sign creased into your paper. These are going to become guide marks for the next part of the fold, which will end up creating the equilateral triangle. I've drawn them in in Sharpie marker so that you can see the guide marks. You don't need to draw them in when it's in front of you because you'll be able to see the crease. So what you're going to need to do is take this corner down here, this bottom left hand corner, and bring it over to rest on this crease. So the point is going to rest on the crease and then over here on the up, see where it's bending? You actually want this piece of paper here to bend exactly at the point. You don't want it to overlap, you don't want it to come shy of it, you want to fold it right at that point. So it's a two-step process which makes it a little bit tricky, but it, you know, practice, practice, practice. You can use scrap paper for this because all it is is a template and you're just going to crease down that one corner and then you find, pull it taut and find this point where that point meets your crease and holding down this line here you're then going to slide your fingers back to crease your paper just like that okay now having my template they, uh, that I prepared earlier if you lay this template over the top you'll see that the angle is perfect and one of the sides has now been created it's a little bit too long and you've still got this big section over here, but so far, so good, right? Okay, so the last part of creating the triangle is this crease here. And it's a very similar situation to what you did before. You're relying on those plus sign creases as well as that corner. And so now we're going to fold up this corner. Now, rather than trying to find something find it find the guide mark with this point we're actually going to be using this line here this vertical one and you'll notice I drew in lines on the back that's because when you fold here and make a little crease so you've pointed at the corner you don't want it shy you don't want it to go past it you want it right at the corner when you do that you'll notice that there's a point on your paper where this line here, this crease, actually intersects 
with this line here. And you're going to figure out where that is. And again, it's a little tricky, but again, practice makes perfect. And you need to find where that point is, line it up, and then crease the other, uh, create a new crease here. So I'll show you up close this line and where this, where this paper and this line intersect is where you're going to fold and also at the corner. And as far as folding's gone, uh, as far as folding goes, that is your equilateral triangle. I'm going to clean this up a bit by taking some scissors to it and cutting out the equilateral triangle and then I'll come back to transfer it to a piece of cardboard. Okay, great. I have trimmed off the extra bits so I now have an equilateral triangle and the one I prepared earlier, you can see it is exactly the same size, all from folding. So it takes a little longer with this one, you've probably noticed, but um, compared to the one with the compass, but if you don't have a compass, it works beautifully. Okay, now I've got some lightweight card cardboard. Uh, again, you can use a uh, cereal box, you could use all sorts of things. Um, this is actually the back to a 12 by 12 paper pad for scrapbooking, so it's a great, use, great way to use up those scraps. And you can see I've made some triangles <laughs> from the other video. Okay, now I'm going to tack down the paper triangle that I've just made. And the reason that I'm making this thicker is because I'm going to be getting some serious use out of this triangle and I want to make sure that it's not bending when I'm tracing it um, onto the paper to create templates for the triangular boxes. So I do want to make sure that this is using a nice thick piece of paper rather than the, just the thin one to trace. So what I've done is I adhered the triangle right to the card, uh, the uh, it's not cardstock cardboard, and I'm just going to trace it. Now freehand is fine, but you'll find that your paper pops up. So if you have a straight edge, a ruler, or another piece of cardboard, uh, that would be great for getting a nice crisp straight edge. And the more accurate your lines are, the better for these boxes. It's going to become incredibly important uh, to have it be accurate when you're making them, especially as you extrapolate out and do more triangles and more things with your boxes. Okay, now I have traced around it, as I said before, to give myself guide marks for cutting. If you wanted to just cut around it after you've tacked down the paper, that's fine too saves you some time. Basically, the name of the game is to get a, an equilateral triangle out of it, and as long as you get through a triangle with the right dimensions, however you go about getting it, you know, it's up to you. There we go. I had mentioned in the other video, I do like to label them as soon as I've created them, any of my templates. I just find that it's easier to create something in the future if I know what size and shape the template is from the get-go. And that's it, one four inch equilateral triangle. So you can either fold paper to create one or you can go out and get a compass and do that if you'd like. Either way, we've now got our triangles and now we're ready to make some boxes. So the next video that I put up on this channel is going to be all about a triangular uh, shaped pizza box and I've got all kinds of fun prisms and different uh, shapes coming up in the next few weeks. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye guys.